So you're playing Call of Duty Mobile and you're doing fine having some good games here and there, but getting consistent wins feels like a dream. Well, we've got you covered with our top 10 tips for both new and current players designed to help you get those wins and give you that competitive edge. First up, a tip mostly for newer players, play ranked. Playing against real players is the best way to practice. Most of your regular multiplayer games are filled with bots. This is an easy way to get lots of kills, but it's not going to help you improve. When you're dropping onto the map, drop straight onto loot boxes. There's a chance you'll get a good haul, which will help you massively in early firefights against players who have only got a pistol. While you're practicing, keep your primary weapon in the same slot. It'll take a few games to get used to, but your muscle memory will help you a lot in the long run, and you'll be able to switch weapons so much faster. If you're trying to get away or you think you're being followed, close doors behind you when you go into buildings. Most people don't think to look in buildings with closed doors. This gives you the perfect opportunity to escape and a better vantage point to get the drop on them. Take some time to explore the map and learn where all the zip lines are. It's one of the fastest and quietest ways to get around the map. If you find yourself stuck outside the circle, sometimes a zip line can even save your life or get you to an airdrop before anyone else. If you take anything from this video, remember this tip. Don't stop moving. In a firefight, staying mobile can be the difference between life and death. It's so much harder to hit moving targets. You can also move while healing with items like adrenaline, so if you need to heal mid-fight, you can still avoid your enemy. Now we know it's super exciting to catch someone off their guard, but sometimes it is better to show some trigger discipline. Catching an enemy from a distance without them seeing you might seem like the perfect time to shoot, but sometimes it's best to get a better vantage point or wait for them to stop and check their inventory. You don't want to give away your position and not get the kill, or worse yet, be killed. Facing off against a tank can be pretty scary and you might be tempted to blow it up, but wouldn't you rather have the tank for yourself? Nova Gas can become a free tank button, so throw a couple of these gas grenades at the tank, while keeping some cover of course, and you'll kill the driver inside and have a lovely new tank all for yourself. If you're facing up against multiple people and you don't have an easy way to escape, don't be scared to drop to the floor. Taking out one player while going prone will make it much harder for the other player to hit you, giving you the chance to jump back up while they're reloading. Don't get too attached to your level 3 armor. You're far better off switching a heavily damaged one for some full strength level 2 gear. Generally, at around 35% strength, you're going to want to start thinking about switching it out for some other stuff. And that about wraps it up for our top tips for Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale. Let us know what tips you found useful and any tips that you think we might have missed in the comments below. And be sure to follow us on our socials and drop us that like. Of course, don't forget to sign up to the upcoming Call of Duty Mobile exhibition in collaboration with our friends at Royalty RGB and Sony Xperia for a chance to win the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark II and maybe, you know, show us some of the tips we gave you today. Head to ultimo.gg for sign up info on that. The tournament takes place on September the 5th and spaces are limited, so don't sleep. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.